All right, hey guys, we're back. Hole number four again. And I'm going to set up, you know, very similarly. We're just going to work on honing in on that adjustment a little bit more. So I'm still going to use, you know, based off my backbone, my accuracy is 75, which is 1.5 per ring. So we're still going to go off that number. We're just going to tweak our original setup because that's been the biggest problem for us has been that original line that we've been going with. So I do got to cheat that over. And here you can see we're not getting the biggest of wins. Uh, this is a total waste of a Santa ball. Taking a two wind and making it a one is very pointless. So I would really recommend uh, if you guys are watching this, save these balls for when you get to expert master. Um, if you guys want to check out my guides, some of the times that I pull these out on par threes there, um, it's the difference between a hole in one and a not hole in one. And you can see this guy great balled it and basically just threw this ball away because he could have easily put it on that island with that same great ball with a two wind. So just something to think about. Uh, saving those balls will give you, you know, if you take a 12 wind and make it a six, that's what you want. That's what you want those balls for. Um, very similar to what you saw me do last time. You're going to just see me set up just a little bit more left. So here I'm just going to set up right about here. Very similar spin. Three and a half with some side spin. Uh, setting up just a little bit more left. And same type adjustment. 1.5 rings. It's going to be right here. And perfect ball. It's close. Again, still missing to the right. So we just got to make minor tweaks there. Uh, I thought I made the necessary adjustments, but maybe I had more right spin on that time and didn't even realize it. So you could probably go back and try to watch both my videos. I feel like I set up a little bit more left there, but maybe I had more right spin than the first one. Uh, and you just got to find a happy medium there. You can see that, uh, you know, we're basically going to be within a ring, uh, within a hole, within a cup every time with our adjustment. And it's all going to be just about basically getting it to drop. So hopefully you guys are able to get that one. And good luck with that hole for sure. Uh, I feel like that's going to be your easiest hole in one on this setup. I remember I definitely got this in my weekend round last tournament that was here. Uh, Might have got it on both sides. I, I can't remember. But here you can see, you know, a little bit more challenging wind here for me. It is nice that the wind's in the face. That is going to make it a little bit easier. Because anytime I get a headwind, I can try to stop the ball with my backbone. It's a little bit harder to otherwise. So here you're going to see me use right around three rings, a little bit of an overplay. Actually, I'm going to come in just a tiny bit, use, ah, I'm going to use two and a half rings. So I am also going to just gently curl it. And perfect ball. See that it does shoot just marginally long, but all things considered, um, especially with, you know, uh, a backbone that doesn't necessarily have, see, you can see all my opponents, they have much more backspin than I do, which makes this shot even easier for them. They can just go five and put the top spin on or the side spin. This guy, if he plays proper ring play, which doesn't look like he even bothered setting it up, but if he was, you know, be very precise with his adjustment, kind of similar to me, um, it would be a very easy, straightforward type approach uh, to get that one in there tight every time. You can see that, you know, he can stop it much easier than I can uh, being able to go into that fifth bar of backspin. That's the real key for that hole. It was just kind of his curl and his great ball to the left that cost him there. Otherwise, that would have been very, very challenging for me to win that one. But anyway, good luck, guys, and uh, see you guys for hole five for another revision.